Cycling journo and historian Rupert Guinness is no stranger to long distance cycling. He's done the Indian Pacific Wheel Race, a five and a half thousand kilometre race across Australia, and this year was signed up to do the race across America. COVID-19 stopped those plans, but nothing's going to fully stop Rupert. So he's taken on an incredible challenge, the virtual race across America. Spending up to 20 hours a day on the bike, we started by asking Rupert about his new virtual home. Well, it has been for, the couple, for a couple of weeks now, and we'll be saying uh, au revoir come uh, Sunday night, the 29th of June, uh, at 11 p.m. when the uh, race across America, virtual race across America, comes to an end. Wow. So 4,500 kilometres. 75,000 metres of climbing in total, did you say? Yeah, that's about right. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's about 20,000 kilometres, um, metres, sorry, more than what you get in real RAM. So it's, yeah. been, it's been a pretty hard course. Uh, it's been one of the discussion points about how hard the course is. Yeah. And, uh, and certainly we'll probably be hearing more about that in the weeks and months to come. Sure. So, and the, uh, virtual riding is always considered probably 30 even more percent more difficult than real world riding is that what you're finding it's certainly not it's certainly not easier than road riding um, there's there are obvious differences inherent difference the fact that you're not actually going anywhere but the challenges are as you can see on me um, the fluid loss through sweat and I have two industrial fans working from in front and behind me so your hydration levels really have to be high mm. compared to road out, outdoor road events and also with the stationary position you've got to be aware of the, the loading that you get on your knees like one of the key sore points is not actually in the kneecap but across the muscle there yeah. and uh, in the beginning every morning or every ride after a rest that's the really hard point to sort of get back that cadence that, a smooth cadence yeah. not feel the pain also there's positional uh, things that you get a lot, a lot of time on the handlebars, so I've lost the feeling in my in my left hand over this side really? from pressure on the nerves, and likewise on your feet. Yeah, yeah. Um, can, contrary to uh, belief, you can actually get out of the saddle and get some relief, but with the bike staying in one spot, particularly as I don't have a kicker system, mm. which gives you more movement. Um, you have to be, you have to improvise and create your own ways of, of stretching and getting a bit of a movement that gives you relief as much sure. as assistance to get up the climbs like this. So this is based on the full gas platform. Um, this climb here, you can see, well, it looks like your shadow down there in the bottom <laughs> yeah, left-hand yeah. corner. So you're doing, uh, what is it, Montevina Road. Whereabouts is this, Rupert? Um, this is in uh, Los Gatos in uh, California. Um, it's uh, one of about, this particular segment is one of about 250 segments that we have to ride to complete the full distance of uh, VRAM. Uh, this is segment number 153, mm. uh, 156. Yeah. Uh, so, v, uh, full gas for VRAM is basically a sequence of videos. You ride them, you upload them when you finish, and the kilometres and all the data that you get on that ride gets downloaded onto your VRAM file, yeah. and through that you get the classification of where you're standing uh, based on uh, kilometres accrued. Yeah, okay. So I saw you in the Adelaide Hills after about 4,000 k's into IndyPack, and yeah. tell you what, you're looking a lot more, well, you're putting <laughs> a lot more into this than it appeared in IndyPack. How does this compare to IndyPack? Totally different. Uh, I mean, IndyPack was a great experience, you know, and I will always be indebted to Having done in uh, well, those two indie packs, even a one and a half, uh, really. But uh, the experience that I got from that is actually helped me prepare for VRAM, which I entered because RAM this year was cancelled, so mm. because of COVID. So when VRAM was created, you know, as an alternative or something from which we could use our RAM preparation for. Yep. Um, you know, I have to say that a lot of that foundation on preparation came from my foundation of preparation for IndyPak 217 and 218. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, think, I think the big difference obviously is, yeah, oh, obviously technology uh, that is in virtual racing is, uh, 
is a, is a major thing, as you can see from the mm -hmm. array of computers and TVs and yep. smart trains. But it, it is a massive challenge in how you handle sleep deprivation, how you handle strategy and planning, nutrition, uh, hydration, um, and all that sort of stuff. And, and yeah. one of the good things is that you are in a contained environment, so mm. you can't get hit by a car unless someone reverses a car here and G Brothers. And <laughs> now, talking, <laughs> uh, talking sleep, you've got the, the camper van set out, out the back, so you, you're basically riding, how many hours a day you're riding, and then? Uh, we've been doing between 18 to 20 a day. We started off at 20 for the first four days. Um, as fatigue uh, sets in, we've sort of started to try and weave in more uh, rest and recovery yeah. where we can. Not necessarily just based on sleep, it's based on time. So now I basically, I'll have like a three hour sleep, or a three hour window to sleep, but you don't necessarily sleep straight away. Um, when I usually stop my night shift, so to speak, about 12.30 or 1. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that in the caravan, the Let's Go caravan. Yeah. Um, and now I usually allow myself three hours during the working days per se wow. uh, to have breaks, accrued breaks, yeah. whether they're cat naps, um, in which I may sleep on the mattress over on the right over here, or I'll use if I fall asleep when I'm having massage with my physiotherapist, uh, or sometimes I just want to sit and shut my eyes for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, it's absolutely fascinating, Rupert. You're doing an incredible job. Um, you've got some wonderful supporters. <laughs> yeah, I've got a great support crew. I mean, these, uh, you know, unlike IndyPak, which is solo and unsupported, um, these events like RAM and VRAM, I'm a solo entrant, but uh, you have a support crew. Mm. But mind you, with these sort of events, you have time limits. Yeah. You know, like IndyPak and events like that uh, don't have time limits. So yeah, yeah. You need to have sort of efficient operations with your crew. Um, your crew have to be able to not just know their skill sets and have it home to what they have to do to, uh, to, to support an uh, ultra endurance rider. They have to also be able to anticipate your mood swings and body language. Sure. And that's why several times they've come to me saying, you know, Rupert, we've got to have a rest now. And my, I have to have faith in them that they're making the right call, yeah. not sort of stand here arguing and, not arguing, but you know, debating it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but have full faith in them. So these, yeah, it's me on the Trek Madone riding up a mountain, but yeah, it really is a team, a team effort. And yeah. I've got a, such a big, better understanding of that now yeah. since having done this so far. So is uh, the Facebook page VRAM the best way to, to find you and follow you? Yeah, action? and it's also on my Facebook too. Yep. Um, all my social media has been put up there and on Instagram as well, but also on the VRAM Instagram and Twitter um, and all the whole bunch of different interviews. Was, we've had a bunch of personalities come down yeah. and, um, and also, you know, we're driving the overriding message of our purpose inherently is to, you know, help create awareness for mental health um, and that's why we've had special guests who've come down and spoken about mental health issues and, and the likes. And also, we are using this as vital preparation for next year's RAM, um, like a dress rehearsal or such. So, yeah. you know, a multi reasoned adventure, which uh, has been cost effective because I guess we're starting and finishing and uh, spending the whole time here in Motorvale. But uh, definitely been looking forward to the finish on Sunday and a beer. But 11 uh, pm, maybe a quick beer, maybe in bed sooner than I think. All right, Rupert. Thanks so much for talking to us. Right, you go well. Terrific, mate. Thank you.